hello everybody and welcome back to the witcher 3 where i'm more awake now and i meditated right before we ended this so i could have some potions ha 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 um and i'm gonna try to find right now the quest that i was trying to find for like two hours that one time uh, David says the quest is a little northeast of the Duntine Crossroad. Which is... Where? Okay. Okay, this is the area I was thinking. Northeast of the Dun. Well, the problem with the... I think part of the problem might be... That I... That's where the main quest is. Between the road... And the river. Is it this one? Is it the cache of valuable goods that I picked up a while back? Or... Because I'm really leery... Of wandering in this area and accidentally triggering the main mission. That's my only qualm about this. Uh, but we'll go, we'll go, we can go back to there and we can kind of wander around and see if I find something. Um, oh, also, actually, wait, no, wait, that's not the, this is the main mission down here. This is not. Okay. Okay. I thought that was for some reason I thought that other one was. I don't I don't really know why. Maybe because it had the exclamation point? I don't know. I got confused, I guess. Um, but what I am gonna do is fast travel to my house really quick. At least, you know, fast travel sort of fast. Meow. Let's see. Well, I hope that was the one that was mentioned. At least that one that I was looking for the last episode. This this whole elven quest. There's also the question mark that's west of here. In a similar-ish locale. But first, I want to go see my house. Jeez, Louise. I just, I'm not gonna, I freaking, I love the villages in the main Witcher game, but I really love the villages here in Tucson. They're really pretty. I think somebody was, had a comment that was like, oh, you're wrong, because I said something about, I think about the accents being like super French, and they're like, ah, oh, obviously they are two Santis. And I was like, hey, <laughs> you're so right. You're so right, there's no France in this game. Two Santis. Okay, house. House, house, house. It's near the, yeah, the chest. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's what he does. He drops the shield. Not I usually just think I break it. I look at it as like an armor stat, basically, and I'm like hacking away at his armor. I'm like, break! Jeez. Let's see! I thought I was supposed to be able to renovate the gardens and stuff too, but... That's really nice. I like it. And it's got pretty paintings. Oh, that is so very nice. I like it a lot. <gasps> Holy cow! It doesn't look like a ghost lives here anymore. Hey, 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 guy. It looks great. Oh, an armor stand. Oh, uh... I know. I'm good. Renovations coming along all right, Barnabas Basil? 
Superbly, sir. Superbly. General refurbishment has been completed. And I took the I don't think, where's all my witcher racks, gear? Each upon Did I sell it? Hang weapons and armor, if you've some pieces you'd like to display. Likewise, I have prepared a few spots in which new paintings might be hung. In Arthur News, the laborers dusting out the cellar have made a most unusual discovery. I believe it's something you wish to see. Okay. I'll go there right now. If you say I should see it, I'll go see it right now, BB. BB. BB, my boy. Mm -mm. I wish there was more lights, though. Wow. We've got pretty plants and food that just sits out. And weapon, can I hit? Do I have a painting? <gasps> Agent Elven Shield, I can hang that. Needle. Um, did I sell my all my Witcher gear? Oh, that would make me sad. Unless I put it in the chest. I guess I'll hang in the ancient elven shield over here. I'd rather give it back to the elves, but, you know, whatever. That looks quite nice. Uh, I guess this is the sword I just got from that, right? I think. And, or maybe not. I think it's actually the sword I still have equipped, technically. Yeah, I need to... All right, I will hang up the sword I just got. Beautiful. How has it now? Guess what? Guess who doesn't use Skype ever because I hate it. It's annoying. Uh, the cellar. Now I want to go buy some paintings. Where'd be my paintings? Oh, yeah, that stupid statue that I have in my house. Oh, I cellar. Cellar's over here. Whoa. Strange. Something behind this wall, I think. What? A laboratory. Must have been an alchemist at one time. Sorry, I turned my phone down. Uh, an alchemy lab. Ho ho. Ooh. Oh. Oh yeah, oh okay, so okay, I thought maybe I could do that from the alchemy page, but I can't, I have to do. Okay. Interesting, I don't really care about doing that, but. To whomever finds this letter, my name is Julius Bond Garves, and if you're reading these words, I am surely long dead. As befits one of my station and familiar connections, I was sent to study at Bound and the famed school for mages, yet I was never to complete those studies. For the entire duration of my life, magic held but a weak hold over a soul ravished by a passion for organic chemic alchemy. It was to that most wondrous of sciences that I dedicated the most beautiful years of my life, and the table beside you, which you now must surely stand, is the fruit of these labors of love. You are a fellow lover of alchemy. I hazard to guess you will be filled with rapture to behold my discovery. If, however, this marvelous science is unknown to you, please heed my advice. Drop this letter, step away from the table, and never return. The practice of alchemy by amateurs can lead to injury and even death. If you did not drop this letter after that, after that last paragraph, you are no stranger to alchemy. As I shall now reveal to you in a few brief words the fundamentals of uh, the alchemy table I designed. Leaving aside all unnecessary detail, my chief discovery consisted of a formula and tools allowing for the transmutation of mutagens taken from monsters into mutagens of the more common sort. I know this sounds highly unlikely, but I have proven with utmost certainty that this is possible. The workings of this transmutation are simple. One must simply make a use of the table which I designed. As an expert in the arcane art of alchemy, you certainly already know your way around such devices. If you are but an amateur, a member of the Hoi, po Hoi Poloi, which who has by accident wandered to this abandoned place, back away, lest your ignorance do you grievous harm. You are surely asking yourself why I hid my discovery from the world, why I did not share my formula with the community of alchemists. Well, let us say I have been forever regarded as eccentric, aloof, and I have always believed it is pure chance and not men themselves that determine destiny. Furthermore, I have never sired offspring and had no desire to entrust my opus to a mere acquaintance. I thus concluded the best solution was to hide my table and trust that chance will, if my theory is correct, bring a man here who shall know how to make use of it. Not a woman, though. Heaven forbid. 
Whom it shall delight and to whom it will prove of great use. Whether I'm right or wrong, time will tell. Use my gift wisely and fare you well. Misogynist. Yeah! <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. Alchemy would be pretty sweet. I mean, chemistry is basically alchemy, and it's pretty sweet, you know? I always liked chemistry in school. I liked uh, balancing equations. I don't know why. I just did. I liked the order of it. I like being able, I don't know, to, to balance things. I don't know, you know? It was easy to do. I hate math, but I like balancing equations a lot. It made a lot of, it just, I think it was more visceral. Math is so abstract. And chemistry is like, no, really, here's this chemical that if you do this to it, like, here's what happens. Here's how it balances out. And it's like, whoa, that's so cool. <laughs> you know? I don't know. I liked it a lot. I always liked the idea of being some sort of like, uh, like I, I've always wanted to do botany too, just because it seemed like, I don't know, plants can do magical things. I like, I always like the magical aura sort of, of like the witch in the woods or the medicine woman, you know, type thing. That was all, it was really cool to me as a kid. I always thought plants, potions were neat. BB, know anything about the laboratory in the cellar? BB. One of the previous owners take an interest in alchemy? A laboratory? Alchemy? I know nothing of it. But I understand that to a witcher this must be a very intriguing fight. It is. It was walled up. Equipment's pretty ancient too, so it must have belonged to someone who lived at Corvo Bianco before you started working here. Whoever it was sure knew their stuff though. Got dragon glass vials and flasks, stills, sublimators, bengarometers. Forgive me, sir. Hey, I, was gonna say. I fear I don't follow. Just saying, it's top-notch equipment. True masterpieces of craftsmanship for use in alchemy. Brewing a concoction with this stuff versus doing it over an open fire? Well, there's no huh. comparison. That's true. Then I am all the more delighted you discovered He's like, so. he's a very supportive dude, you know? He's like, he's like, I don't get it. It's like, it's like that really good friend that you can talk to for like an hour about things, and they have no idea what you're talking about really, but they're like, I support you in your likes and your endeavors so i will listen <laughs> you know and it can be even if it's something you don't know anything about it's still interesting to hear people talk about a subject they're passionate about you know it's like oh wow my parents are actually really cool like i'll talk i'll literally talk for an hour about overwatch and like the overwatch league and especially with my dad it's actually fun like because i watch football too like i watch the nfl and so like we'll kind of like compare the fledgling overwatch league with like the very established traditional like nfl team practices and stuff it's pretty interesting Starting to really like this place. Maybe we should keep going, refurbish some more. Yeah. What do you think? I don't have any money. As you wish, sir. Shall we see to the house? More the house. house? This time? Uh, let's do the uh, uh, the grounds. Starting to get into this whole renovating thing. There must be other things. We Carol's can like this person. What a splendidly wise idea. Now that the general refurbishment is done, why not see to the grounds? Let's do the garden. Perhaps renovate the stables. Or return Madame Bolius's garden to its former verdancy? Verdancy? Herbs in the garden. So, sometimes I have to brew a potion, but I can't find the herbs I need growing anywhere nearby. Well, you're in luck, sir. The flower garden, once kept by Madame Nina, Monsieur Bolius's wife, seems the ideal place to cultivate herbs. In fact, it's roomy it's enough like... to plant shrubbery. <laughs> roomy enough to plant shrubbery. Like, it's something that's like, um... It seems like it's all just, like, uh, fanciful stuff, like the renovating, like upgrading and stuff. It's like, why is there just a scabbard hanging on that back wall back there? Um, but I, I think it's supposed to be the, the shield thingy, but uh, maybe not. I don't know. But there's a sword, there's a scabbard hanging there, and it's bothering me. Um, but for Geralt, it all, all these upgrades, I think, also offer, um, at least most of them anyway, offer practical, like, uh, resources, you know? Good idea, I can do puzzle. it. Herbs there will save me hours of painstaking searching and harvesting. Can I plant what I the have? The idea is yours, sir. I am but the humble executor of your will. I believe we shall have sown the first seeds in two days' time. Will you be needing anything else, sir? Let's see if we can do the same. You know, Roach, my horse. Well, we've been through a lot together, and since I finally got I a knew she was stay, a girl. She deserves one too. I oh, knew she was. Oh, a sturdy stable testifies to a most honorable owner. Just say the word, 
and I'll have them start working on it at once. I could have sworn he said boy, though, once. Bonus to horse's stamina. Mm, no what? Ponder the notion however long you... Okay, bye. Let's put a pin in this for now. Remember to have some urgent <laughs> business to tend to. Put a pin in this. Not the slightest problem, sir. I am here to serve whenever you desire. Okay, so we do need to go back to that at some point to the the bandit's stronghold and see if I can defeat the bandit leader and then pick up all that loot and then sell it. Was this, was this here before? This could be upgraded. Why does it look not great? Why does it look great? Hmm, okay. This is such a... Man, wouldn't it, wouldn't it be crazy to have a place like this? Can't even imagine. Bread adds a spring to your step. Why so pretty. Okay, let's see. I will actually, I will travel to this place and then I will save, just in case. Because I don't know why I thought that this area was... Oh, well, it just auto-saved, but we'll do manual save. Okay, I saved, we're good to go, Darth East. I don't know why I like the controller, I don't know, I'm just like, blur. I mess up and like go too far a lot of times. I'm so glad we don't have to have fixed cameras anymore when we play games. Alright, alright, let's see, let's see how this goes. This is a pretty place. Give me peace, peace. What makes you insist on me as your victim? Why choose me to torment? Me? Be gone, foul spirit. Oh, a spirit. You're tormented. By what? Forgive me. But I must ask directly. Are What's she man? got on her neck? I no longer trust my senses. Yes, meaning I'm physical, no specter or vision if that's what you fear. Don't trust your senses? Why? A foulness, a demon or wraith haunts me, grants me no rest. It wants something. I sense this, but no, not what. Each day it appears, tarries, then leaves. It's here now, there, beyond the oh trees. Boy. Don't see a thing. Of course not. It cannot be seen. Yet you see it? Only when I drink the brew, which brings a pain to my head. Nausea. But I endure these to keep an eye on the wraith, my tormentor. Okay, this is really interesting. This demon of yours, can you describe it? It is an enormous horse. Its hoofbeats pounding in the dark. It gallops to me, stops, stares, then runs on. Sure it's not just a wild horse, run of the mill? The creature is not of this world. When it gazes at me, a terrible chill pervades my soul. It is evil content. Its eyes black, void. Each time it comes, terror grips me. I cease what I'm doing, still my breath and heart. This is really strange. They don't usually come in animal form. What's your brew made of? Gotta wonder what's causing such strong visions. You drop in some mushroom, chumber tub, dancing do that? Close. The common grey top. I see you know your herbs. Great, huh? Variety's extinct, if I recall correctly. Nearly, but not quite. I was able to grow a few from dried spores. I'd hoped a brew of Great Top would reveal this nightmare. I was not wrong. As far as I know, Great Top produces some powerful side effects. Though it can, in fact, reveal the hidden, the immaterial. Yes, I see the evil. 
Better that than to know it is there, but not know where. Hmm. Fine. You seem sure something's out there. I'll see what I can do. Start by taking a look around. I should have asked for money. Whoopsie daisy. I cannot shut my eyes. For fear the nightmare comes again. I've oft heard Geralt boast that in terms of monsters, he firmly believes he has seen it all. Yet what he can count on this occasion demanded that he revise his view. While traveling through Toussaint, he happened upon a female hermit who claimed she, she an invisible specter, was tormenting her and would be her end. The Witcher was skeptical, not least because he could not imagine how he might defeat something invisible. The woman's suffering seemed so intense, however, that he resolved to try to help her. Yeah, I wonder, is she willingly a hermit or did she like do this to herself? Wait, what? Oh. Dead moths. Attracted to some ghosts like to the light of a candle. Oh. Hmm. Seems there's at least some truth to the hermit's ravings. The Flagellant's Manifesto. Hello, sons and daughter of the boy. Yeah, boy. The end is nigh, and mend your ways, and put your faith in the good toe. For our prophet has written, to shun the pleasures of the flesh, and shirk from comfort as at times recommended, and to value one's neighbor's fortune above one's own comfort is commendable. What? That is why we, the eighth day flagellants, scourge ourselves and torment our flesh to assure that all folk of the world enjoy long and prosperous lives. Whatever evil, sickness, or misconduct lurks in the world, dark corners, survives not because we have been negligent in striking our backs with the whip. Okay. Sure thing. Oh, it's the herb. Common gray top. Strong hallucinogen. Thought extinct. Don't often get to see that. Is that the book right there that she reads and gets all whoop deed about? Drops of blood on the pillow. Trail of them leading to the window. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, hey, thank you. Can I examine the window? That's not just like droplets of blood. That's like a lot. Shutters closed tight. Need to check the other side, see if the trail continues. Does she flagellate? Oh, hi, cat. Sorry. Never know. Ooh, I'm sorry to steal all your herbs and food. Uh, I'm sure the game will keep it going for you. See, am I supposed to? Dead moths. Oh, outside. Oh, okay, outside the window too. Mm -hmm. Trail of blood starts at the pillow, ends here. Medallion's still vibrating. You okay, lady? Something drinks the hermit's blood at night. That I know. Gotta talk to her. Maybe she can tell me something more. Witcher. Uh, yo. Did I tell you I was a witcher? I don't think I did, but yeah, it's whatever. Heard flagellants whip themselves to atone for all humankind's wrongs, to appease the gods, gain their forgiveness. That why you do it? We reach our own reasons. I seek to atone for the suffering of a living being, which once fell victim to another's vanity. I care not for humankind, preferring instead the company of Atmos. Okay. Most likely some kind of wraiths Whoa. tormenting you. Can't tell what kind, though. Felt weak? Spent lately? Notice bite marks on your skin? As I said, I feel weaker by the day. And bites. Of course, there are lice and midges here aplenty. This isn't lice. Something much bigger drinks your blood while you sleep. 
But I do not sleep. Not a wink. He's always present. Always watching. I cannot bear it any longer. There's Sadly, a story not here. Much I can do. Can't exterminate it if I can't see it. Put Yerdin everywhere. I shall make a brew of it for you. I've two mushrooms left. Enough for one dose. Perhaps then you'll see what I do. Um. This mushroom, even in me, could produce some nasty, unpredictable side effects. True. There is no knowing how Grey Top would affect a mutated body. But it could work. Hmm. A proper brew could be our only chance to figure this out. All right. High time we tried this. She's like, all right, someone else can see it. So she's atoning for the suffering of somebody who fell victim to somebody else's vanity. I don't understand how we can't see it. We can usually see specters. If I start muttering something about unicorns or sorceresses, ignore it. What? She's like, oh, okay, that sounds reasonable. Oh boy. just passed out. It's fine. Some time later. So we've basically uh, transcended and gone to a completely different world entirely. See no wraith. Wow, this clover's amazing. Now that's what I call a bouquet. Uh. Who said that? Oh, you're awake. Had me worried. You were out way too long. Even considered giving you some white honey. Kind of hard to do with hooves, though. Roach? Yeah, why do you sound so badly? Your voice. It's, uh, interesting. Gotta say, I expected a young mare to sound... Uh, girlish. Based on what? Your vast experience with talking animals? <laughs> as far as I know, I'm your first... What is going on? <laughs> Good point. Good point. <laughs> Maybe Roach was born a girl, but... In, in a girl's body, but is actually a man. We respect... And love our transgender horses. Oh, I'm getting text messages all over the place. Must be the brew that did this. Interesting side effect. Great, isn't it? You should take this stuff more often. Got so many pointers nope, I can nope, give you. Nope. Mm -mm. Can't, sadly. Drinking this too often could prove fatal. What? <laughs> hey, you know how you always show up when I whistle? How's that work exactly? Well, you're my human. Gotta be there when you need me. Yes, I'll be there for you, ooh, ooh, as the world falls down. You, yeah, ooh! <laughs> Still kind of strange. How you cross the ocean when I times, <laughs> then get hung up on the tiniest fence. Exactly! What's that about? Uh, what can I say? Everyone's got limits. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're doing this right now. Help me with this horsey problem, Rave. Listen, got this contract I need to finish before the brew wears off. Right. Monster won't slay itself. Let me see. First up, I need to know what we're dealing with. This is with. so weird. Follow me. No. And try not to trample any plants or small animals. What? What? Is Roach been possessed? Geralt, we gotta inspect this area closely. 
I'll look for clues. Rose! You stand there and... Well, just stand. Right. Will you look at that? Don't see anything here. These are hoof prints. Not just any old horses either. Talk These were left by an astral being. Or the worldly. We gotta follow them. Cat, come here. Greetings. Greetings! Cats don't Look like me. From Dead moths often mean a phantom's nearby. Thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> now, what about the smell? Same whiff I caught at the cemetery in Vizima when we were hunting ghouls. The smell of death. Smells normal to me. Not taking me for a ride, are you? Uh. Seriously? <laughs> what? I. What? Why do I have this, like, wisecracking sidekick that's a horse? I don't understand. All right. Now I know what we're up against. Roach, I don't know what's going on. How come you can see these things and I can't? Right, Geralt. Let's sum up what we know so far. That mouth is moving, too. We're dealing with some kind of wraith or phantom, most likely. And Geralt's Visits like, just totally like, yep. Drinks her blood. Any, any resource in a pinch. Even if we manage to find it, I've got no idea how I could possibly fight it. Geralt, please, I got this. It's definitely an Umbra, an immaterial wraith. How? This one's assumed the form of a horse. What? An Umbra. How do you actually know? Makes sense. Umbra are completely invisible, even to witchers. But how can you be sure? Yeah. Because it's not invisible to me, Doofus. It's right over there. What? What? Oh, I see it. It's right over there, Doofus. What? Ooh, it's getting pretty. away. Come on, Witcher, hop in the saddle. Gotta catch it. Oh, this is so fun. This is so fun. Quick. Oh, God. Don't. Okay. That's it, Roach. There's the Umbra. Let's go, Geralt. After it. I'm go, trying to follow go. the path. Hey. I'm gonna save my strength a bit. No telling ah. how long we're gonna oh, need yeah. to keep running. Roach, I hate you. We need to get to the Umbra. If it gets away now, we'll never see it again, no matter how. Slower. Effect of the bruise waning. I can feel it. Won't be able to understand you soon. Ah, shame that. Shame, too, that we didn't catch I that I will number. reload. But let me tell you one last joke, all right? This is a killer. Why'd the horse cross the road? No idea. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too late. I'll never know. Uh, let's see. Um, maybe this one? 